I was handling a case with a truck driver who was run, who ran off the road and his truck flipped because the truck in front of him, another tractor trailer, all of its lights were out. Um, the electrical system was out. It had stopped in the road at dusk. He didn't see him until the last minute and ran off the road. I remember talking to that truck driver and saying, well, why didn't you hit your brakes and stop in time? And he told me that his brakes weren't operating properly. And I started thinking, here's two tractor trailers on the road. One doesn't have the lights working or any electrical system. The other doesn't have the brakes working. And it made me realize that, my goodness, how many tractor trailers are on the road that are unsafe? And actually, as I started to research this, it's really shocking to me. The statistics are about one in four tractor trailers on the road are, have some type of out-of-service violation, meaning they're illegal to be on the road. When they're stopped at the roadside checks or the, um, like the way stations that they pull through and have inspections, uh, they find that there's something wrong with them. It could be the brakes, it could be the lights, or anything that makes them illegal to be on the road. One in four trucks. I did get my commercial driver's license. Uh, as I was handling more and more of these cases, I thought it was important to really understand and to really get to the truth of what happens in these cases. And I can only do that by understanding the parts of the truck and a truck driver's training. I also have a separate certification I've gotten for air brakes, um, a special program that that teaches you all about air brakes. So a lot of cases involve brakes. And so now I have that certification and I have my commercial driver's license and certification and air brakes and double triple and, and all the different add-ons that you can get hazmat. And it's been really helpful to me to understand that. And it also helps when I'm sitting on the other side of a table with a truck driver um, and get kind of an attitude. Well, who are you, Mr. Lawyer? Um, yeah, it's well and good for you to say you should inspect this or that. You've never driven one of these trucks. Um, Sometimes I get people say that and say, well, actually, yeah, I have a commercial driver's license. So it really helps me understand these cases. Uh, Lawyers Weekly call me king of the road, and people recognize me when I'm around, oh, you're the truck guy. Um, a lot of that's been because there's few of us um, in, the, in the country that will handle truck accident cases and not a handful of all types of other cases. So I've gotten to be known for that. Uh, I lecture around the country all over the country for over a decade now to different lawyers about how to handle truck accident cases. So people have come to know me and um, something I'm proud of.